Hello, and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Well, today we're going in search of Artifact Z13. You can see it's 537 metres in that direction. I mean, our base is due east, so we're pretty straightforward to get this far. Trouble is, there's something in there that I'm not too keen on, so I'm actually going to get out of this. I'm going to leave the sea truck here. And interestingly enough, I've just noticed that. So there's this big long conduit going somewhere. I wonder where that leads to. And it's still going on and on. Looks like it stopped there. But it leads right the way up to there. Oh, sea monkeys. But anywho. The plan was to come out and look for this artifact and I got so far when I suddenly noticed some well rather nasty looking beasties. Them things. Yeah, jellyfish. Now in a previous playthrough while they were creating the game, those things well they drain the power. And that's not gonna be good for my my sea truck over there, hence the reason I've left it over there out of the way. So the plan is we're going to go the rest of the distance using the sea glide and just try and dodge out of the way of those blooming jellyfish because yeah I mean they electrocute you but they also I think they drain the power from the uh, from you now this is interesting I wonder if I can jump onto that I've never I've never seen this sort of thing before what they used to have was a there used to be a certain way to get into this area. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, there was a certain way in which you had to get in, so you had to go past all of those jellyfish. But of course, then you're uh, leaving your sea truck outside. Now that's interesting, look at that. That looks like a base over there, in which case I might be tempted to actually get the sea truck. Especially given the weather. I could really do with some sort of spyglass. Because there's some some sort of plant over there. Tell you what, I'm going to go and get the sea truck again. Because it's over there, so I think we might be able to bring it up close because that's a radio tower over there. It would make more sense to bring the sea truck up to there. Right, we'll be back in a short while. Right, so this, this is actually kind of similar to the early playthrough. I mean, I want to get over to that base, but the base itself, at least their entry point is, it's like, it's just surrounded more or less by these blooming jellyfish things, and I do want to bring the sea truck there. So, I'm just going to park it over there, and we're going to head, head over. I think that's the safest way to play it. But before, what you used to have to do was you had to go through this, like, really deep cave. Just trying to get my bearings. Where the heck is it? Hmm. Having a, a, a blizzard doesn't help. But you can see all of these jellyfish. Oh, wow, these are... Yeah, they're just all over the place. And every time I tried to get close, I was ending up with uh, with them lot suddenly just taking an interest. Originally what you had to do is you had to come underneath some sort of cave system. But you'd have to go through, to get through it, you'd have, you had to go past them, so I think it was through there. Yeah, I think it was through something like that. So that might still be the case, but we got this artifact we're looking for is over there. Ah, there it is, there, right, so there's the... Alright, okay, well... It's not too bad, but I, I started heading in this direction and you could just see these all of these jellyfish. So, see if we can get around the corner here, get up onto... Well, I haven't said that, maybe I can just get up here. Nope, can't get up there. I just need to find somewhere where we can come ashore. Oh, gee, because there's the... I saw that. That looks like the landing bay. Yeah, so there's the docking bay. 
And they, they take quite an interest in you, in you, I can tell you that. As long as you stay out of reach of the tentacles, you tend to be fine, but... Ah, yeah, I don't think the sea truck would have uh, much chance. So they've definitely changed this area. This looks a lot different. A violet snow cone. Hmm. So what else have we got down here? Battery. Some water. What about here? Nutrient block. It's not PDAs, so... Looks like this place has been abandoned. And I'm freezing. This is not helping. Looks like you really need to be prepared for this environment. And that's something I'm certainly not. Hmm. So the artifacts in that general direction. So you can see there's something... Uh, could do with... Yeah, it could really do with seeing if I could spot a base, an abandoned base we could use. Oh, there's a there's a hot vent over there. Maybe that might help us. Nope. Right. Hypothermia imminent. Okay, I get that. Right. That helped. That's one of these little um, boxes I brought across. I had it from. Uh, well, I made it while I was over at, over at the base. So the bridge over there is out. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build your body? I believe so. Yes. So whatever this is, it requires hydraulic fluid for operation. So we've got a fight. Hello, what's this? So we've got a blueprint. New blueprint synthesized. It needs creep vine seed clusters and gel sack. Man, this is not helping being out here. We are we are so not equipped for this. I was hoping there'd be some sort of like base or something out here that we could keep dashing in and out of, but then I'm not seeing any porch bulb. I'm not seeing anywhere to to help. Oh, this is this is bad. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna add a real challenge here trying to get in and out of here. Because we're going to die of hypothermia if we don't, we don't deal with it. Fortunately, I brought uh, two of these things here, spicy fruit salads. So it looks like we need more of them. Oh, look, there's a, a Mr. PDA. Hmm. Yes, it's going to be a challenge. If, as if they're not already a challenge. Right, I've got to get back to the, the sea truck, I think, because I'm certainly not prepared for that place. Right then, take two. Actually, just out of curiosity, let's take a use of and see if I can run any faster. So as far as I can tell, our only option is to basically head up to here as quickly as possible. I mean, I was thinking of using the the actual prawn suit, but I can't see a way of getting it up here. As soon as you let it go from the actual uh, truck, it'll probably just fall off anyway. Right. Hydraulic fluid. Extend the bridge. Excellent. Right. So, see what happens when we get across here. Makes you wonder where everyone must have gone then. Oh, there's a vent. Interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. 
Okay. That, that doesn't sound good. Right, well... The artifact's supposedly in this direction. That's what I'm picking up, and Anyway. Ah, that's okay. We're in a sort of like a cave, so... That seems better. That seems we're about 28 metres below us, and we're heading uphill, which doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, this doesn't seem to lead anywhere. And if I head back in this direction, it looked like there was some some lights that I noticed. So like that's that's the all the hallmarks of Altera. I wonder what this tower's got around it. Container here with a first aid kit. Seem to be doing anything. some water so we've come across there so yeah that's definitely different we didn't have a bridge in the previous playthrough at least one that you know you needed to extend like that that's a that's an an interesting feature that added in right where did I go because I was trying to find ah, that was I was heading in this direction so that's useful, at least we can get warmed up around here. Ah. Interesting. And how that got stuffed in there. Right, so there's a there's a light down there now. Our pockets are full. So if we just keep following lights, yeah, that looks familiar. My only concern is we're not really cut out for the environment because it's so cold. Cool. So there obviously looks like they're mining something down there. Or at least there were. That looks like a shaft. Containers, water, PDA, first aid kit, nutrients. So it's probably in our interests to head down there. Ooh, a thumper. Ooh. New blueprint synthesized. Thumpers, yeah. This is another game where they're taking a leap out of somebody else's book. Ooh, thumpers don't sound good. Hypothermia imminent. Speaking of thumping, I can hear my own heart thumping. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, could you have one of them? Right, so there's a PDA. Subterranean report. Right, it's still cool. It's quite a lot of minerals, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Hmm. So it's the artifact somewhere in that direction. Yeah, I could have really done with uh, some sort of like furs or something. We are seriously not cut out for this this weather. tricky. There's no clear like path to follow, not at least not one I can see. To make a mid make a quick dash in here and we should get warmed up. So there's there's a lot of uh it's like resources lying around. What's a thought? Yeah, we can't put anything down though. Hmm. 
Ah, so we could put that there. Ah, so we could. Ah, ha ha ha. So we could build one of these. The only trouble is, and then we can get the solar panels from it. Ah, hang on a minute, there's a vent. Ah, ha ha ha. There's a vent around here somewhere. The trouble is, I suppose it would only power it while the vent was actually active, though. That might make a lot of sense. It gives us somewhere to to keep warm because at the moment I'm just dashing in and out of this this cave. We'll go back up here and see see what was around the corner because we we came to a ledge around here and didn't seem to go anywhere there. Out up here. No. Uh, no, I particularly. So that's a dig site. So there's stuff out there. So yeah, I mean, there's a bit of an area here we could we could build a sort of like a base. At least, at least, as, you know, we could have somewhere to to keep warm, basically. Because that's the key thing is that we just don't. I mean, other than this little cave here. We're really struggling for heat. And it's getting dark. Don't think there's anything down there. Is there anything along here? Don't think there was. Because we came over. That doesn't sound good. Actually, where was that vent? Hmm. I get the impression, as Alan was talking about going northeast, and I think that's the direction I'm going to have to head in. It's a bit strange because the code of this, the, the artifact's in that direction, but it looks as though it's below the surface. Ah, now there's a thought. I think it's in my interest to probably go back to base. Because what I could do is I could build a sort of like a, a small base here. Like a, just a temporary one with like a multi-purpose room. But I, I thought I heard some movement. I could, I could actually grow those plants. I remember, was it Preston's plants? I think it was. Because if these are stalkers that we're hearing. Maybe I could give it one of those and put it to, you know, knock it out or something. Keep it occupied with one of them. Hmm. But I think that's the, because I think that's basically the direction we need to be heading. Where Alan was saying, he, he was detecting something up to the northeast. So I think that's where we need to be going. But the trouble is... If they are well, A, we're not cut out for it, and B, it sounds like the stalkers up there. Frosted sinew tree. Right, tell you what, let's do that. I'll build something out here to keep us heated and reasonably safe. Yeah, I think that's a better strategy for now, at least. Well, I've managed to find this little landing place here. It's just kind of close to where that docking bay is. The, none of the jellyfish have actually come close to it. So this is a bit of an improvement. But I've been going around, around the area and uh, just collecting anything and everything I can. But it's not been too bad, I must admit. I mean, uh, um... Oh, what do you call it? The, yeah, uh, titanium. Yeah, titanium has been a real struggle to get a hold of. I've been able to get quite a lot of, like, copper and silver, and I've managed to get enough quartz. But it's a case of I've been able to build a base. And it's quite interesting, I must admit. I mean, once you've got the base built, you can just go in there and you can, uh, you can protect yourself from the cold. 
you don't necessarily need power but I have put some power in I'm going to finish some things off now I actually built that multi-purpose room and when I attached the hatch to it it automatically put the stair in I didn't have, even have to build a stair I just had to put the materials in to build the hatch that was quite handy I'm curious about this thermal plant I've had to go back to base to get all the rest of the materials for that Now that's shown yellow, so it looks like it's not providing power, I don't think, so it looks like I'm going to need one of those extenders. I mean, I've been able to basically get enough materials to build this multi-purpose room. Two solar panels down there. We go inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. I managed to get uh, enough to make the battery charger and this locker, plus an actual fabricator, but... One thing I wanted to do was to put in a grow bed. So I went back to get some more titanium for that. And then what I can do is grow these. And I'll keep growing them because they'll be able to produce the, the actual items I need to make that salad. And that's, that'll help me keep uh, warm in this environment. Now there was something else. Oh yes, I was going to build the, the water filtration unit. This water is always a problem. Ah, now that's a thought. There's no water. This wouldn't, technically this is not going to work because there's no water outside. It just suddenly dawned on me. There's no water. So how is it going to work? I mean, I'll, I'll build it just out of curiosity. It, it's Because it's supposed to pull in the water and split it between water and salt. But... <laughs> Drop. Just, just silly dawned on me. Ooh. Well, that's a bit cheeky because there is no water. I mean, I suppose you could argue it's pulling in water from the, from the atmosphere. I mean, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be plenty of that around a bit. That's it. Right, we'll go back inside. But yeah, I mean, you don't actually need any power. So it'll only be able to run. So I mean, the thing is, I mean, we're producing enough power with those two solar panels. Because that's the problem I've been finding, is quartz more than anything. Um, as long as you're not actually consuming any power, it's not a problem during the night. You just go up to 150 power and that's it. Uh, it looks like I'm going to need quartz and titanium to finish that off. One thing I was going to build now that I think about it. So let's see if we, we've got that growing there. I'm sure there was something I wanted to build in here. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want to build a vending machine as well. Uh, I think I'll put that, I'll put that over here. Because as well I don't need power cells. So the good thing about coffee, I mean, I've got I've got a thermos flask now. That'll give me body heat. It's going to cost me water in the process, but that's an easier way to get uh, actual body heat in this environment. So I may as well clear these out. Because that's built, but it's not providing power. Now, I thought it would automatically do it, but it uh, look, looks like... I mean, I thought it would provide the power straight away because the solar panels did. But I'm going to need some... Is that gold we need? Rats, we need gold and titanium. Right, I'm going to have to go back again because I don't think there's any gold around here. I'm actually haven't said that. There might be some... There might be some in the water. But, I mean, one thing that's got me puzzled, I must admit, there's a... Uh, over there, there is a mining facility. And there is a, a, a supply of, you know, titanium, for example. But I'm not sure how I'd be able to get the prone suit in there, to be honest. Because as soon as I let it go from the, the actual sea truck, it's just going to fall to the, it's going to fall to the ground, and it's going to hit the butt the surface. 
I don't think it'll have enough power to be able to literally get itself out of the, well, off the, off the surface, but down here, there's a, there's all of that. I would say, and that's something you've got to mine. So it'll be tempting to try and bring the prone suit here, but I'm not really sure how. But I've been running around all over this place looking for things like quartz, um, being able to get the titanium, the copper, there's, there's tons of, there's been tons of silver lying around. But it's more the quartz and the titanium that are the, the big major bugbears. Uh, so if I just dash back down here, we'll be able to get into the cave. But I'm doing okay, I mean, as long as I can get into either this cave or that multi-purpose room. Then I'm okay against this heat, but there's got to be a, there's got to be a better way. Now one thing is, I mean, I can, I can always dash over to either the, the water as well, so we can go back across the bridge. When, incidentally, over there, I think what Alan was talking about was these worms. I think that's what he's been referencing, because... weather approaching. Seek shelter. He, he was talking about creatures that burrow, and snow stalkers don't burrow in the ground. We've also got that option to make thumpers which yeah that that's all to do with worms that but there's something um, I would have thought there might be something down here then I mean I'll do a bit more exploring first because the, the direction we've got to go in he's, he was talking about going northeast that's talking about a place by the sounds of it where there are worms there are facility beacon detected nearby unique identifier fire robotics center Ah, right. Oh, man. Now we'll find out. Yeah, I think I think I was getting my, my maps confused, I must admit, earlier. Because I was picking up... Um, when we went over to see Marguerite, I could have sworn we were on, the, on that side. I thought we were over here to find Marguerite. We must have gone that way, because she said we were east of... Yeah, she said go east of where, where you were at, and we were there at the time when she told us that. For some reason I thought we'd come here, but we'd actually gone over there. And then when I was tracking that that artifact, I could see, I mean, I'd gone in this direction, so I was like, ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, so this is good, so I can get some of these. But we're in a cave now, so this is the, this is the robotic centre. Ah, right. This is more like it. So there are caves up here. Yeah, see? Ah, right, so there's plenty of titanium there. So, right, there's a bit of titanium. One thing I do need is gold, though. Ah, rats, I wish I'd come down here before. It would save me a lot of hassle. Yeah, so this is the same... Place. It wasn't called Fire Robotic Centre at the time, but this is the same place that we that I can't. I remember coming through because I remember coming up through a uh, through a sort of like a tunnel system, a cave system, and then that got us to a this this big uh, but, well a bit similar sort of building like that. Uh, uh, there's nothing here. But they tried all sorts of different things within the storyline because I remember there was some sort of like rogue yeah there was a they had a sort of like a rogue uh, employee who I think what they did is they ended up they did something and it ended up where we couldn't get off the actual planet it, was, it stopped us getting off the planet with an emergency pod or something but they crashed over here apparently Let's see if we can just quickly dash in here maybe that might help us Ooh. Fire robotics. This is where Sam worked. All oh, right. Okay. Fair enough. I'll just dash out here because I saw something out here. I think it was a container. We're we doing inventory wise. We're all right. Ah, it's just water. Well, let's have a poke around here. So she was out here. So I, I suspect that she's obviously destroyed this place, which. Ex 
explains things a bit better against the original storyline. I wasn't sure what was going on back then. Uh, we can't scan that. Got a battery out of that. Aha! The hover pad. So that's to make the hover pad. Right. So have we got the technology end? acquired? Yes, we have. So we, we need a wiring kit plus some titanium. And I, I did get quite a lot of silver. There was quite a lot of nuts was stashed in the walls and all sorts. So in which case we'll be able to build a hover bike. But I, I must admit, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> when, I, when I was trying that, I was just crashing into anything and everything, quite frankly. And I also had problems trying to get in and out of the building. Let's see if that's still the case. Because you could, you could kind of like jump on things and uh, it just didn't quite work. You, you ended up getting like really, really stuck. Because you, you can see that up there. That's actually, that's a thought. Yeah, it's a large room fragment. So this is better than the multi-purpose room. It's more practical. I think this is the same sort of thing that Marguerite was using for her greenhouse, I noticed. So that's more practical for outdoors than the actual multi-purpose room that we've been using. So have a poke around and see if we can find any lugs. Maybe. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Right, so anyway, this place has been completely trashed. Oh, so there's a laser cutter fragment. Uh, we get a poster about the penglings. PDA. Aha, fragment for the snow fox. So we need, oh, we need multiple fragments to pull that one off them. Oh, what are these? Water purification tablets. Water purification blueprints synthesized. Drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. What? Are you saying we can? Because you can pick up snow. Salt with a frost vase plant. Mm -hmm. Ah, so this gives us a map of the glacial basin. A fragment of a penguin. New blueprint synthesized. Ooh. So right, so we can we can make ourselves a, a spy pingling now and then that gives us the remote control for it now that is well cool I've used it before so I know it comes in extremely handy and so, so I think what we're missing what was that? I could have sworn it oh Sam's bed Ah, oh, so that's Sam's room. What well, was Sam's room, I should say. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Ah, uh, like, yeah, the entire place is trashed. Well, that's good. Oh, I would have, I would have liked that poster. Oh, I wouldn't mind. That, that looks like the sort of thing we were after. Aha, there's a thought. Finally put this thing to use. Ah, right, so I'm not seeing anything else around there. We're missing a couple of fragments for the hover bike. Pretty sure that said we needed. You know, we were on one of three. 
So there's one. There's the one for the actual hover pad because you use that to actually make it. One of three. So this is Dr. Zeta Landon's room. Now this place is now this is in a much better condition. Oh, we can get another music disc. Nerd out. Diving in too deep. Water. Oh, they're cold little fish. What the heck? They look like, look like kind of, well, the crustaceans or some sort, I think. Or unless that's just the, uh, that's what you, the, the plant um, containers and that's what they probably are. Is that one of three or all three? It's all of them. New blueprints in the Oh, awesome. So we can make a cold suit. Well, oh, what do we need to make a cold suit? So there's the gloves. Oh, we need snow snow stoker fur. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. The $64 million question is where do we get the extra fragments from for the, for the snow bike then? Because we found... We've only found one. Hmm. Man, that is seriously trash. Can we go up here? No, oh, you yeah, can. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this goes back to like the original Subnautica. It was a teleporter. Awesome. Wow, they seriously found some stuff here. Yeah, they must have cleaned this place out. Then. But yeah, this, these were cool on Subnautica having teleporters. I mean, they turned up quite late in the game. So after a while, they were just kind of a convenience. They weren't like a game changer. Some water. Lubricants. First aid kit. It's a common theme seems to be it's either food, water or first aid kits. Ooh, looks like we can get into this building as well, so that that's broken. Oh, is that what I oh, Please tell me we're going to be able to get a blueprint for that. Oh, what? Trapped. Would have been able to heat ourselves up with one of them. Oh, that sucks. So we can't get out of there. And we're stuck on something there. Gonna make a fridge. How convenient! So we can keep, we can keep things cool in a glacial area. Hmm. Oh, I've already learned the power cell. Anyway, at least I'll get there. Uh, oh, I was going to say I'll get to the, uh, 
titanium fragments, but I won't because they've got no I've got no room left. Oh no, there's a cat. I've got to have that cat. I've got I've got plenty of silver, I need the cat. It's not enough. I've got to have the cat posted. Oh another PDA. Oh there's another thermos flask down there. Ah, oh, that's handy, I suppose. A picture frame. Yeah, I've been wondering when we could find one then. New blueprint synthesized. Yes, yeah, so there's a thermos down there. I think that's about it. So there must be somewhere. Somewhere there must be another two fragments that'll get you the a hover bike so we don't have that yet but all the same I mean, we found some pretty good stuff among here I must admit well at some point I really want to go over the PDAs oh sorry probably broke our legs in the process just have a quick check because that was the hover pad we found and I think there was another one we found somewhere else but it the hover bike we need. Yeah, probably somewhere out there. So I think we're going to have to play Hunt the Snowstalker. <laughs> um, let's head back to base because I need. I really need. I really need gold. Because if I can get the gold. Oh, that's frustrating because there's. Uh, Ports down there, but if we can head back to base, get some gold, and I can make that power transmitter. If I can get the power transmitter, I should be able to provide more power to this base, and then we can start exploring this place even more. But that's all for another episode. Well, thanks for making it to the end of this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If so, then do please leave a like as it will encourage YouTube's algorithms to suggest the video to others who might like it as well. If you have any tips or tricks for Subnautica, then please leave them in a comment below as it would benefit anyone watching this video. Though I do appreciate any feedback at all, even if it's just to say hello. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. It's free. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, as then you should get reminders when new content goes out. And if you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a Patreon. Alternatively, there's the option to make a one-off contribution through PayPal. I've left links for both options in the description below. But above all, I hope you like watching these videos as much as I enjoy playing Subnautica. Bye!